All right, let's continue on. And I think what I'm going to do now is, let's see, I've got to do this jam here, all inside here, all along there, and this one here. The reason I didn't want to do it when I was doing the inside, a couple got a couple runs and stuff, no big deal, just sand them out. Shave them off, whatever, and you know, just make them look better. I'm not looking for perfect in there at all. Again, so same thing with these. I don't worry about my door jams that much. I just get them painted. And then the outside, I'll detail out and get everything looking really good. But inside here, like I thought, I said I was going to probably get some curtains. And I did, of course. Um, so these here, I got to do this edge here. Um, and then I got to do this here. And then I need to do this side of that one. So that's going to be a little difficult. I think I'm just going to cover this. And I don't really like to get too much overspray on the outside because then it's a little harder to sand. So, and then I, I just figured I'll just cover it up real quick with some plastic. I got, uh, that plastic sheeting that works real well on this and I'll just mask off around these well, it won't take very long to do so I figured I might as well do it that way I'll do this one the same way and then I've got to do this one here I only have to do this edge so I can just leave this door open propped open I'll take this off and clean that off of there clean the primer off of it and then I Oh, yeah, this one has a locking one. That's pretty handy. These are expensive to find, if you can find one. Um, and then I'll go ahead and paint that edge. The bottom piece. Yeah, I'll do that. And then maybe I'll do this inside too. I'm not sure. I got some parts I need to paint. So maybe I'll do those too. I got the shifter. And let's take a look at that. I got the shifter to do. I'm going to do the gas door. I think I'm going to do it off. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'll do that. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to paint these with the same color. Even though they were actually probably the same color as the steering wheel. Which is a little different. So I'll clean this. See how it looks. I'm probably not going to paint it. I kind of like that it's all original and in good shape. So. That'd be kind of cool to have. Got like a big fat run going down there. I'll just sand it out a little bit and then either shoot a little more clear on some blender on there or whatever. It's easy to, you just touch up stuff like that. If you get runs, it's easy just to just sand them out real quick and touch them up, you know, versus sitting there trying to, I'd rather have a couple of uh, small runs or something like that. Then I would have orange peel all over everything really bad. So that's my theory. I'd rather just sand those out and touch them up or buff them, whatever works either way. But it's no big deal. And a lot of that gets covered in the part where it's the worst is down below where it's actually into the door panel. So honestly, it doesn't really matter. All right, just so you guys know, um, this is a 3M hand masker. They're around 50 bucks, uh, available at like paint stores. I think they have them at Home Depot, but I'm not sure. They do have a cheaper version of it that is crap. Um, you need to buy the more expensive one like this um, to get a good one. The one that is like 20 bucks or 30 bucks is not very good. There's also this brand, which isn't bad. Um, the only thing about this one is the angle of the handle. It's kind of odd for some things. It'd be great, great for a little automotive thing. And these are about 25 bucks. Um, these are fine. But the 3M one that's cheaper at Home Depot or something like that, do not buy it. It is junk. It won't work. You'll, it'll be frustrating for you. So either spend the 50 bucks on the good 3M one or you can get this one. Uh, I don't know who makes it. 
had it for a long time. And you can see it in there. Got the deposit and look at it. It's in Phoenix, Arizona, looks like. Uh, yeah, Max Products. I'm not sure. QM5000. Uh, try that one. That one works okay. For paper, it works fine. But for film, which I'm going to use next to do this covering, it does not very, work very good. Um, it's the angle of, if you can look at it, if you look at it right here, see the angle of the handle being way down? Uh, when you try and cut the film the with this one, it um, it's you, the angle you have to have your hand is too far over, where that one, it cuts it better, the angle of it. They kind of figured it out. It seems to work better. This one works fine for paper, though, so if you're just going to do paper. Kind of a nice thing to have if you're going to do some of your own work on your cars and stuff. Uh, this is the cheap... Ooh, this is a better one. This is the cheap paper. It has paper bleed, so be careful if you get the cheap stuff. They do have the waxy stuff. I just use the cheap stuff and just take it off pretty quickly. Uh, don't get the clear and stuff on it for very long. It'll soak through it. it has some problems. But uh, I don't use that stuff very much. So the, I just use this stuff and it's fine. But you just got to take it right off when you're done painting something. Alright, so here we go. All done with these jams. Got all these parts out here all done. Let's take a look at them together. That yeah, looks like there's a few little runs. I saw a couple corners here and there. Not really worried about it, like I said, especially if it's in this part. I barely even got anything on here. This has got not just, this is the sealer, but the sealer is a single stage urethane. So it's a fast drying single stage urethane. It's not like a regular single stage urethane where it takes hours to dry. Uh, I've got a little hanger right here, but it doesn't matter because the door panel is going to completely cover it. No big thing. This one right here, I kind of ran it down too. I just kind of, it was kind of running there and I just kind of pushed it down. That's what you do. Hang on a second. I had to get the clear off my thumb. Yeah, I just kind of. Smooth them out a little bit so that, you know, when I put the door panel, I don't want it to stand out. No big thing. 
but yeah that looks pretty good i mean remember how damaged this was i didn't really try and cherry that part out if i wanted to i could have but i didn't um remember this was all replaced the bottom part was all replaced so and you can see it i could have ground this down a little more but it's not like a focal area so i don't really care in these doors that much i'm sick of the other stuff so i just sprayed the inside of this the one side of those I got this thing painted here um, and then I got the shifter done because that's all going to go in this is probably going to go in um, the dash right now and the stuff is going to go in this week so I wanted to make sure that was done the gas door didn't really need to be done right now but uh, the, the turn signal stuff I wanted to put together while we're doing the underneath uh, that'll give Chris something to do over there and then next on the agenda is this thing here. So come back for that one. That'll be fun. You might not like how I'm going to do it. Some people will think it's great. Some people will think it's terrible. You know what? It's the way I'm doing it. <laughs> Don't like it? Don't like it. You like it? Like it. It doesn't matter to me. It's just how I'm doing it. But anyway... If you guys are enjoying your day, I uh, thought I'd just get this done real quick out here. See how I got this all covered up. Um, this plastic is not really the one that's the no flake plastic. Um, it's kind of semi no flake, but they have a red brand. If you wanted to buy it, they have the no flake red um, stuff. And it's by 3M. This is a Trimaco uh, stuff, so it's cheaper. And the 3M stuff uh, actually won't flake when you put the clear and all that on there. Even though it's supposed to be for household use, it does work just like the automotive stuff does. And it's quite a bit cheaper. So you can try that at home. It's a nice little setup to have that handy masker here. See, this is it up close. Looks like that. And this is a special blade. If you can see, that's really, really sharp. I don't know if it'll focus on it for me. And those are really sharp. And there's a guard that uses these on there. I always take them off because it's always such a pain to use them. So, yeah, they have a guard on them so you don't get cut. But if you're just careful, that's why I do it. Well, you do what you want to do. Keep the guard on it if you're supposed to. Anyway, well, that's it for the cargo doors. And, you know, I mean, yeah, there's body work in there and stuff. They're wavy and the rubber goes down in this groove. So I wasn't worried about getting that like perfect underneath it. I don't really care that much on those. The doors are pretty bad shape. So um, once I put the rubber in there, and you're not going to see that. The top gets the rubber going across. Uh, it goes from, I put it from all the way from the corner all the way to the far corner. So it'll cover all that stuff up and makes it look fine. It's probably not ever going to see the outside weather much. Uh, hopefully, you know, it, it may, but it won't near see what it saw the first 30 years or whatever of its life when it was being driven in the snow and 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 all that stuff. So anyway, uh, that's it for this. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep watching and keep making those comments. Talk to you next one.